This is my favorite announcement from this year. Cursor and Supermaven are joining forces. If you're not familiar with either, Cursor is an AI code editor and Supermaven is a co-pilot. Effectively, what Supermaven allows you to do is to really quickly iterate on your code. And it has a really great model that can handle a ton of context with incredibly low latency and able to predict what you want to write, whether it's the function or the logic within the function or the schema or whatever it might be. Whereas Cursor, it's strong in a number of other features. There's AI in a ton of different areas. You have a chat panel on the right-hand side. You have the ability to use something called Command K, where you'll be able to change with natural language in line, whatever you want to do. They have a popular feature called Composer. And what Composer allows you to do is you can edit and create net new files within your project. And there's just a ton within Cursor. It's a really feature-rich offering. Now, where this is interesting is so Supermaven is something that I've used and paid for. And what is really great with Supermaven is its ability to predict code and effectively have you just tap through what you want to create. If you're writing out a function, it's going to be able to complete the name of your function, write out the logic, be able to write out the schema to whatever you might be writing. It's very powerful and quick. And the thing that I really liked with Supermaven that I found that Cursor lacked is it's hard once you get used to the speed of Supermaven to go back to something that might be slower or work a little bit differently. That was one trade-off personally from when I moved to Supermaven to Cursor is that I definitely missed this core feature of Supermaven. Let's just go through the blog post that they announced today. I'm excited to announce that Supermaven is joining Cursor. Supermaven is a fast context-aware co-pilot. Its creator, Jacob Jackson, kickstarted the modern wave of AI coding tools by inventing Tab9 in 2019 and through pioneering work at OpenAI. If you're not familiar with Tab9, this was an early, I think it was the first AI model for code generation. You were able to pay for this as a VS Code extension, and it was a very early implementation to a lot of the tools that we're really seeing popularized today. They say, why join forces? We have a lot to do, and it seems like we can build a more useful product faster together. Each of us believes that AI makes possible a much more way to build software and that purpose-built models, a tailored editing experience, and a lot of clever ideas are necessary to get there. Now, in terms of what to expect, lots of product improvements, for instance, we hope in the not too distant future that we'll be able to add a new version of the tab model that's fast, context-aware, and highly intelligent, especially at sequences of long changes, tab, now, a big question that a lot of people will have is, will the plugin remain up? Supermaven is currently a plugin that you can use on VS Code, JetBrains, or NeoVim, and they're still going to maintain that plugin. So don't worry about that going away if you are a Supermaven user. They do mention that Cursor will become the main focus here. Here they mentioned that Supermaven's previous plan was that the team had shifted focus to an editor because the API extensions were blocking the next useful thing that they wanted to build. Those limitations that exist within something like the VS Code API was part of what sort of spurred all of this by the looks of it. Now, in terms of a timeline, there's not a stated timeline in terms of when Supermaven is going to be integrated into Cursor. With that being said, I wanted to show you what it looks like to have both Supermaven as well as Cursor. What I have here is the Cursor editor. And if you wanted to try this out yourself, you'll be able to try out a free trial on Supermaven if you just can't wait to try out what Supermaven is like within Cursor. Once you've signed up and you've made an account, the first thing you can do if you want to try this, and mind you, this is probably only going to be relevant for for the number of weeks until this is actually officially implemented. So just be mindful of that. But what you could do is you could turn off the cursor prediction within cursor. And then what you can do is you can just make sure that you have Supermaven enabled. What I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna show you a quick demonstration on some of the features that are both within cursor as well as Supermaven. First, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create a new application here. The first thing I wanna show you is cursor composer. If I command shift I, what you can do within here is if I just say app, Within our app directory, I can say something like, I want a new page called Laura. The cool thing with Composer is it can edit existing files, but you can also create net new files as well. Here we see within app, it's creating a page of Lorem. And what you can do is say if you don't wanna just accept the changes and have it applied to your code base, you can save it out, make sure it looks good. And then if it does, you can ultimately accept it. Now I wanna demonstrate Supermaven. So if I just type const, and let's say we want to have a counter. Here we see that we have the count, a set count, 
And then if I click tab again, you'll see that it's actually making that import statement at the top as well. What's really cool with this is if I just continue going through the file and let's just say I take out this paragraph, for instance, let's just say I want to change this to counter. And there we go. We have count. And then we can also have the incrementer here. We have the ability, the on click that is going to set the count. And there you have it. It was like instant, right? Like I hope it conveys in this video how quick this is. Because that really is the amazing thing with Supermaven. It's unmatched compared to GitHub Copilot, basically any other autocomplete that I've tried. And from what I understand, part of the reason for this is actually because it's a different architecture than Transformers. A couple things to note with Supermaven is you can have up to a million tokens of context on their pro tier, which presumably is going to be coming to the Cursor Pro plan as well. And in terms of the comparisons to competitors, the response times as stated on their page here, that it's more than three times faster than some of the leading competitors. Just to give you an idea. Now, in terms of some other features of Cursor, you also have the ability to have this chat panel here. And within here, just like you could within the Composer, what you can do within here is you can add in other files, just like you could within the Composer. You can reference the web, reference docs that you want to put in. There's just a ton that you can do within here. If I just say describe this file, now, this is pretty self-explanatory, but just to show you what this does. And the cool thing with this is if you ask for changes within the chat panel here is you can also apply it to what's on screen. If I say edit the counter to be all caps, we'll put that through. And here we see the edit. So from this, I can click apply. And then what that will do is we'll see this inline diff here where we can accept or reject. And we'll see that capitalized there. Now, the other cool thing that I want to demonstrate, so if I just start a server here and I break something, like I do something that doesn't make sense. Let's say I have a typo. In this case, it has the underline here. But if I go to that page, it's going to fail to compile, right? And what you can do within here is any errors that you see is you could just highlight this and you have the option to add this to chat. You'll see the lines there or you have the option to add it to the composer as well. There's a ton of ease of use in terms of using this. And not to mention, there are a ton of different models that you can use within here. You can use GPT-4.0, Sonnet 3.5, GPT-4.0 Mini, as well as O1 Preview. Overall, I just wanted to give you a really quick demonstration on what this will potentially look like, especially in the short term, once they begin to combine these things. And over the longer term, who's to say? But I think this is definitely a great combination in terms of two really great talented teams coming together, building amazing things for us. Kudos to the team at Cursor and Supermaven for joining forces and ultimately being able to build for all of us. I look forward to seeing whatever is next. Now, if you found this video useful, please comment, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, until the next one.